What's up, everybody? Supreme Decisions here, and yes, I am actually using line focus on the Note 10, which, you know, we're going to do something about that in a little bit. But today, I actually want to talk about something that came across. Damn, Gray's getting long and heavy. I want to talk to you today about something that came across my email um, a couple days ago. I thought it was rather hilarious because the person that sent it to me is a paralegal. And I actually know this because I've seen their certificate. But what was funny about it was the simple fact that most people have no clue of what defamation is or liable is or any of these things that you hear just thrown out um, pretty much on a daily basis and how they work. But I'm going to give you a couple things today. One is, what is a paralegal? Well, a paralegal from my handy dandy notebook is a person trained in subsidiary legal matters but not fully qualified as a lawyer. It is what it is. So that lets you know they're the people that actually do like the hands on case searching and all that good stuff to put together motions for a lawyer to argue. Knows it didn't use the word attorney. I'll get into that later. We want to talk about defamation. We want to talk about that pesky thing called defamation. So, because the actions that was taken from me that was placed into a video was defined by this paralegal as defamatory. Now, when we look up the word or the explanation of defamation is the action of damaging the good reputation of someone via slander or libel. So that didn't really answer anything, right? Damaging someone's good reputation. So, what is libel? Libel is the publishing of a false statement that is damaging to a person's reputation or written defamation. So, libel would not be something that's done in a video. That's generally something that you'll see in like a newspaper or on some type of document that has been seen by multiple people that or, as I said, published onto some t type of platform. YouTube could be that if it's something that was written. But then we look up the beautiful word, slander. Slander is the action or crime of making a false spoken statement damaging to a person's reputation. Now, the example that's being used is he is suing the television network for slander. So when you're looking at the objectivity of defamation and you're using slander, the whole thing would be the making of a false statement. There are some means in which you have to prove the statement that's being made is not true in order for defamation to be pretty much upheld or have the ability to do anything about it. Now, in most cases, if it's something that's on YouTube, and you scream out, defamation, defamation. YouTube will generally go ahead and take the video down. But the video that's in question hasn't been taken down. So I guess YouTube didn't think it was defamatory. And next statement is, if there is a legal matter in this place, since it's not a court document, it's not a crime because it's not like someone's lying on, let's say, in testimony based off of a police report. Again, something that can be brought up later. Or, in this case, this will be viewed as a civil matter. Now, even in civil matters, there are no opportunities or very limited opportunities for anonymity. And I'm pretty sure that's what this person is looking for. But you don't get it. Because if you sue someone, there's this thing called having the right to confront your accusers and then there are other opportunities that lie before you that allows you to get the information necessary to counter sue that person. So, words for today is defamation, understanding the difference between written and spoken, and what's being done in videos. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, grab your t-shirts. We also have them in white as well as continue to support the podcast. 
99 cents, $4.99, $9.99 a month, or you could do more if you like via Apple Pay. It's as easy as sending me a message and we can keep it rolling. And lastly, don't forget, join one of the tiers. Pick the tier that's best for you and let's keep going, let's keep growing. Studio will be ready soon and we will probably be doing this video on the brand new iMac that just came in today. So, love you guys. Let's keep going, let's keep growing. And Supreme, you already know what it is.